In this video, we'll create a simple Ruby web application. Let's get started. For writing the code, we'll be using Cloud Shell Text Editor. You can use any text editor of your choice. You also need the Ruby Runtime install. Links to install Ruby Runtime will be in the description down below. To get started, click on Activate Cloud Shell. We'll create a new folder called Hello World Ruby. We'll then open the folder in Cloud Shell Workspace with Cloud Shell WS Hello World Ruby. We'll create a new terminal. We'll create a new file called app.rb. In our app.ruby file, we'll write our code. We'll start with require Sinatra. Sinatra is a Ruby library that will make it very easy for us to create a web application using Ruby. We'll set the bind address to 0.0.0.0. .0 we'll set bind port to environmental variable port. If port is not set, we'll default port to port 88. We'll then create a get route to path slash. And whenever a request comes to that path, we'll first start with a variable target, which will be set to environmental variable target. If target is not set, we'll set target to world. We'll then write back hello. Then we'll string replace target. We'll add a new line here as well. And we'll end the function with end. We'll create a gem file to get all our dependencies. In our gem file, we'll set source to be https colon slash slash rubygems.org. We'll set gem Sinatra, and we'll also get gem rack, and we will set the version to be greater than or equal to 2.0.6. We'll then run bundle install to install all our dependencies. Once that is done, we can run a Ruby app.rb. And our web application starts. We can open another terminal window and run curl localhost port 8080. And we see that we get back hello world. In the next video, we'll see how we can containerize a Ruby web application.